To food tonight, we have the very latest in the demand for meat. The coronavirus outbreak forced some meat processing plants to close altogether, leading to some shortages. But local companies are stepping up to handle the growing demand. Channel 3 Eyewitness News where Eva Zamaris visited a Connecticut butcher today, being innovative during the quarantine. We're just trying to keep up this high volume. The phones have been ringing off the hook at Meadow Meat in Middletown. We have stacks of orders. The local butcher shop and dog food company has been in David Sargis and Rhonda Montana's family for about 40 years. These siblings and business partners say they've been working hard to meet the demand for meat. But with meat processing plants closing across the country, it hasn't been easy. Because we're good customers with our vendors, we're still getting supply. We're just not getting what we want. We're seeing definite dips in quality and, and massive raises in price. Those constant changes impact both them and their customers. We have to call them and tell them that it's not available. What they wanted is now not available, and if it is, it's for maybe, you know, three times as much as what they were expecting. They're doing everything they can, all while keeping everyone safe. We're only allowing two customers in there, and we have two clerks serving them. It takes some time when they're looking at the meat, deciding what they want. As they continue to adapt during the coronavirus pandemic, Rhonda and David have this message to their customers. Please be patient with us. Yeah, <laughs> you but know? also thank you. And, and thank you for still coming to us. In Middletown, Eva Zamaris, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.